What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And as you can see, we're back on some Ark Survival Evolved Genesis in the lava or volcano biome, however you really want to look at it. And I'm here today to show you how you can get some of the harder resources to get. When I mean harder, I mean the exclusive resources that came with the Genesis DLC. So I'm talking about the pollen, the golden nugget, the shell and the amber. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to get them very easy just by using the spawn commands for them. Now as far as I know, there's only two of them that are actually useful in-game anyway. The other two are just do with missions. But I'm going to be showing you the codes anyway. Just so you can spawn them in if you really want to. Um, or if you're on the mission, you can just spawn them in. I've never done any of the missions, but I don't know how it goes. So, let's just get straight into it. So... First code is just boom, it's straight up there. It's to do with the pollen that I mentioned before. And it's that simple right there. So this is a resource that is only obtainable during a mission called Along Came Pollen by destroying by destroying the indicated plants and picking it up. Uh, these vanish outside the mission now. So you get them during the mission, but after you completed the mission or failed the mission, whatever, whatever, it completely vanishes from your inventory. So you don't get to keep it or anything. It doesn't build nothing. You can't craft it into anything. So it's pretty much useless. So I don't even know why they brought it into the game just for one mission. Kind of dumb, but there you have it. So it's GFI space pollen space one it doesn't have to be one you can put like a huge number there if you want to uh okay so i'm just gonna put 10 in boom then it's space zero space zero and we're just gonna whack it in we're gonna come out we're gonna check in um, inventory and as you can see there is 10 pollen and it <laughs> It's got no description really, such as high quality pollen spawn. These are often dropped by specific uh, pollen plants within the bog biome. So, I, I don't know. It's not useful. It's one of the useless ones in Ark. Uh, but let's move on. I'm going to show you the other useless item that's only mission based just to get it out of the way and then we'll move on to the more important ones. So there it is mortals, this is the golden nugget. So yet again this is a resource that is only obtainable during the mission mount over matter and vanishes outside of the mission. So it's GFI space, golden nugget space, the amount that you want, space zero, space zero. I'm just going to put one in just because. So boom, and we check our inventory, and there it is, that's a golden nugget. It looks a bit like raw metal, but you can't do nothing with it. So it is a lump of unrefined gold ore. Creatures have been known to be attracted to it. To its, well, to its natural shine, with many of them uh, borrowing it for safekeeping. That's really all it is. Now, I have looked everywhere. This is only useful during a mission. You can't use it outside a mission. It can't be smelted into like a block of gold or nothing, because gold is just useless in Ark. It doesn't craft nothing. So... The second resource that basically does nothing only while you're in a mission and then it vanishes once you're outside the mission, but you can still spawn it in. I don't know. But anyway, let's just move on to one that can actually do stuff, shall we? So here you have it, mortals. That is the code on screen. Now, I just called this Amber because it's just got Amber in the name. And gris is just like amber gris. Like, yeah, I call it amber. That's my word. So this is actually pretty useful in 
the Genesis, which is actually really nice. So this can be obtained in game just by mining green lined rocks in the lunar biome. It is a rare drop, so you're not going to constantly get it. You do get it better if you have an Anki getting it. Um, but yeah, I just thought it's pretty rare to get. So I give you the code for it to make it easy for you mortals. So it's GFI space ammo gris space the amount you want space zero space zero so i'm going to, I'm going to use one so there you have it it is a waxy substance secreted by the space whale now it is used as ammo to charge the space whales bomb attack so as long as you have this in its inventory it it will do the bomb attack that it usually does. It is also used as food and comfort food for baby Meg, the Megalosaurus, not Megalosaurus. <laughs> Sorry, the big giant lizard things. Actually, I don't think there's any out at the moment. They're usually all inside where the nests are, but you do have some outside. Yeah, I don't see any. But yeah. You can, it's used for the babies of them. You can also use it as food for the normal ones when they're adults. Um, you have to force feed them, they won't eat it naturally, uh, but they will help them recover health a lot quicker if you do force feed it them. So there you have it. So yeah, that's, oh, okay, I'm not falling down there. Let's just uh, do that. We <laughs> not falling down there, not a chance. So yeah, that is the amber, as I call it, ambergris, whatever you want to call it, and that's his uses, and that's the spawn code. So we're going to move on to the last code. So there's only like there was only four exclusive resources that came with the Genesis DLC, which is unfortunate. I thought they'd bring more stuff, but they didn't. Four exclusive ones two that you can use and two are just pointless or only for missions so that is the code this is for the turtle shell so it's gfi space turtle shell space the amount you want space zero space zero now this is actually pretty handy you get it from the giant sea turtle anyway that's how you usually get it um, but it can be used to actually craft items in game, which is pretty nice. Shell fragments can also be used as an alter alternative to keratin, which is pretty nice. Because I know you don't tend to get a lot of chitin or keratin in this one. I know you, you do get scorpions and stuff, so you can get that. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it's useful. That's the code. I'm going to pull it in to show you. Turtle shell. Boom. And now we have turtle shell in our inventory. That's what it looks like. And it even says it in the description. If you read the description, it is a firm, flexible material from the shell of the giant turtle. Can be used as a replacement for character. So there you have it mortals, that is how to get the four exclusive resources that came with Genesis. Very, very, very easy without going and looking for them because they are rare as I've mentioned and I've basically gave you uses for it. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found it informative in some way and I think there's a volcano about to go off. I'll see you in the next video mortals.